Okay, so today we're going to show you one of our test jigs that we built up here for a customer of ours that we build harnesses for every month, probably in the area of a hundred harnesses or so, give or take, you know, a few. So this jig here was built by us. We have two of them actually, because there's two models. And it's just a pile of these little springs here that are quick release mechanisms for wires that are just tinned or the ends are stripped on them and we tin the ends and uh, the connectors here simulating a circuit board on the top and what this jig is is almost like a 3D jig uh, it's simulating an electrical box with a wall and then this would be the lid that you know on a hinge closes over so there's two circuit boards here there's another circuit board right in this area if you were to see the actual box we did have one here when we started this program way back probably huh. that's our compressor in the background making noise and hissing it dumps its load every so often of any liquid anyways uh, yeah, wires are all put on here and routed to their particular spot. There is a few sub-assemblies. I'll just bring one up and show you. This is one that was it's just got a bunch of wires in it and they're all hot stamped by the way. I'll hold that up. I think you can see that on both ends so that the customer knows where to hook it into their jig and uh, not their jig but their product uh, when when they do have a finished harness that we give them. And so as this harness is being built there is a harness tester tucked in underneath here and all the wires for all the connections here go into that harness tester in the back and it knows because it's been pre-programmed if you're putting a wire in the wrong spot and it will alert you so you know it's working as you're building the harness it makes a slight sound a ticking sound which you'll hear kind of like tick 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 and if you short a wire out or put it in the wrong spot it starts going boop, 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 boop. it's kind of like that so we'll probably simulate that uh, one time you know as we're building it we're going to get Chris in here and he's going to he's going to be our operator for today on building this harness and we're actually going to build one it takes about 10 to 15 minutes to build one and so we'll probably just do it fast forward and stop when there's something special that we want to show you so give us a minute and we'll get that set up okay we're just about ready here to build a harness I'm just gonna get set up with my Android here and we're gonna be taking other uh, other angles that camera will be looking this way and this one hopefully this way and we'll try and stay out of the way of Chris so Chris come on in and build a harness for us okay so he's got wires and he's putting them on and I'm gonna try and get my camera going in the right direction here So we'll speed this up and maybe slow down when he starts to put ties on and I'll show you that a little bit. Now he's tying the harness here and you can hear the test jig in the background it goes tick 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 I should have had him take a wire off actually take a wire off and short it out so you can no short it out okay that tells us that something's wrong in the harness so if he would have put a wire in the wrong spot it alerts you as you're building it right away okay so we'll speed up the video again and carry on One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. 
23, 24. There you go. So this harness is basically done. Now he's just disconnecting it. And he has to undo the wires out of the orange thing, which is a quick release mechanism as well. And then just out of the clamps that are holding everything together. So this, this harness is actually built now. And when the customer receives it, it's, it's the shape that they need for putting it on their electrical box. So now he's just coiling it up and he'll put it into a blue bag over here there's this blue bag and that gets sent to the customer just like that finished product he's got a bunch of them there so if you the, like these videos give us a thumbs up leave a comment down below or subscribe to the channel that'd be great do all three if you want that'd be even better the ultimate thing to do would be to join our universal tribe which is really a tool that all crowdfunders can use when they do a campaign for those that don't have a very large tribe to start out with this will create a really good opportunity for them to be successful with their crowdfunding efforts and what does that do for you well it makes the world a better place because these people create jobs and you're going to be helping them do that if you want to so hey let's make the world a better place join the universal tribe